How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So glad each and every one of you can make it. Yes, another exciting adventure of Let's Crack It Open and this week's volunteer, the 67 Chevy C10. Please excuse my messy work area here, but we're working on a couple customs, this being one of them. By the time you see this, the video should be long out. This is going to be my first build for the new group, which I am an honorary member of, the Diecast Misfits. This is a really cool casting and it holds a special place in my heart because I used to have a, a uh, 1971 version of this. Of course, it didn't have the cowl induction hood, but it looked just like this. I mean, it was just a wonderful, wonderful truck. Mine was painted just like this, uh, blue up top, blue lower, not the dark blue, just the regular blue, upper and lower with the white going down the side of it. And of course, it had the chrome trim that went around it. But yeah, this is a super cool casting. I'm tickled to be doing another one of them. I, I really love doing these. But I already have it pre-drilled. Let's see what's inside. Of course, you have the standard obligatory three tabs holding the front wheels on. And a very short axle in the rear. Three tabs holding that on. And I always try to mention it in the videos why I do this. Because a lot of people is not going to buy one of these just to take it home and take it apart unless you're doing a wheel swap or or whatever right you're just not going to do it so that's why i do it so you can see what is inside these vehicles as me being a customizer takes them apart because it's nothing for me to take it apart lay that to the side for just a second let's look what we have got this smoked glass very cool and if you look real carefully the smoked glass is actually part of the rear bed of the truck that has to be in there for it to seal it off. So when you do one, if you're going to paint the bed, or if you're going to paint anything on, on the inside of this bed, be sure to paint that too, because that goes right up against there. But now you've seen the interior, and that's all it is. You have chrome seats. They're really detailed, and I'll try to show you that later on. Well, you'll see it in the, the video for this build, actually. But the seats are nice and detailed. They're nice and wide. There's a lot of gauges and stuff on the dash that you can paint up and detail. Really no room for a shifter because there's no floor in it. Because the base is part of the floor. So there's nowhere to put a shifter. So the best you, I mean, you could add one, you know, down here. You know, put it on here to see where it needs to go and add one by all means. But that's what the interior looks like. There's not a whole lot to it. But you have a really nice base if you do customs and you want to add an engine, just cut that post out, cut a hole through there, and you have a really nice wide base to mount your engine to. There's the front, chrome as always. I normally like painting over the base with a translucent paint because it gives it a really cool look going over that chrome. But I, this one, I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to stay that way. I'm pretty certain it's not. I'm pretty certain I'm going to have to prime and paint this because the paint that I'm going to do to the outside of this for the build will be different. But anyhow, that's what's in this episode of Let's Crack It Open. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching. 